Business Weather Forecast. Well, good morning, and after fighting with the cloud cover for a majority of our day yesterday and having to dodge a few more showers, we're not completely out of the woods as we go through today. We still have a couple of isolated showers to keep an eye out for, and that cloud cover does look like it ends up lingering as we go through our afternoon. So how about a step outside this morning? We'll head to Dixon City, 37 right now. The ground is wet from the showers that came through last night, but no additional rainfall to talk about this morning. But that cloud cover certainly lingering, and it will stick around for a majority of our day today. Temperatures are running a little bit lower compared to this time yesterday. We're sitting in the lower 40s and the upper 30s. Hazleton, we're at 37. Sealands Grove right around 40. Pottsville at 43. Mount Pocono down to 36. So just a touch cooler compared to this time yesterday morning. There are some of those showers that came through last night. Pretty quick to taper off and maybe just a little bit of drizzle left over. That's really, if anything, this morning. And we had that widespread fog issue through yesterday. It's not really that bad as we go through today. Maybe just one or two areas of patchy fog in some of the valleys, but no major problems. This pesky area of low pressure, though, will help keep that cloud cover here as we go through our afternoon. It's also going to help fire off just an isolated shower as we go through today. But because it's a dying area of low pressure, we're not expecting any widespread rain through this afternoon. It does end up cooler all around. Temperatures over the next 12 hours make it to the mid and the upper 40s with just a select few spots trying to break that 50 mark this afternoon. The average high for this time of year is right around 52, so we are running just a few degrees below that average. And as we go through today, the wind is not as gusty as what we saw through yesterday. Remember, the wind picked up in the afternoon, but now it'll be at a good 5 to 10 miles per hour as we go through the remainder of our Tuesday. Cloud cover does stick around. It'll be harder to get sunshine today than those of us that were lucky enough to see it yesterday. And just the isolated shower to keep an eye out for. Cloud cover sticks around tonight and through tomorrow, though we still try to break out into a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon. We can't completely rule out another isolated shower. Going into Wednesday from Thursday, the cloud cover does stick around. It'll stick around through Friday as well, and it does look like Thursday and Friday really end up staying dry, but just the slightest of an isolated shower still can't be completely ruled out as we end this week. So here's your eyewitness weather forecast, 48 for the high today. We'll call it a stray rain shower. Other than that, in the hour by hour, you can see the cloud cover really does win out. The sunrise, 647, and setting just before 730 this evening. 36 for the overnight low tonight. Cloud cover lingers. It's chilly, and we still can't pull out the isolated shower, which is just the story over the next couple of days. A shower tomorrow, but mainly isolated. Cloud cover is what we fight with on Thursday and Friday. We are back in the 50s, though. Saturday is the day we'll get some more all-day consistent sunshine at 54. Sunday, we're looking for a little rain to move back in, and then the cloud cover is tough to break through Monday. And we can always download the Eyewitness Weather app to get our latest updates on the weather. Don't forget the forecast is always available at pahomepage.com. It might be a little bit of a gloomy seven-day, Chris, but as you look at those numbers, I mean, the lowest daytime highs we have are in the mid to upper 40s, then it's the 50s mm -hmm. to even near 60. So you can't beat that this time of year. We'll take it. Thanks, Stefano. Well, coming up, while you're stuck at home,